What's going on guys? 7 Wolf 77 here and I'm going to do a short tutorial on how to install 7 Days to Die mods, specifically Darkness Falls, and get it running. So first of all, we want to go to Steam, wherever we have it installed at, and we want to look at our game files here. So we're going to go to Manage, we're going to Browse Local Game Files, okay? So we're going to have those up, and this is your 7 Days to Die. If you already have a folder in here that says Mods, or if you've already tried to install mods into your main uh, folder here, I recommend that you do a uh, you delete all of this and reinstall the game completely. So to do that, you go back to your game in Steam. You're going to go to right click. You're going to go to properties, installed files and verify integrity of game files. This will re-download all the files for you just in case to make sure you're getting that clean install. But we want to take all of these main files here. We're going to select them and then we're going to copy. And then we're going to go to wherever we want to install. Basically, we're installing a backup copy of this. So one, we're not modifying our original files. And two, in case the fun pips decide to do something silly and do an update thing, um, your darkness files will still work. So I'm going to go right here to my uh, folder where I install all of my games. I'm going to make a new folder. We're going to call it seven days to die modded. You can name it whatever you want. doesn't really matter. We're going to go ahead and copy and uh, where we're going to paste the things that we copied into this folder. So we'll be right back as soon as this finishes. All right, we just finished copying here. You can see all of our files moved on over. So next, we need to actually download the mod files. So we're going to go to our Discord. And I'll have a link to the Discord down below. This is the Darkness Falls. Um, Kane, the mod author, does not support the third-party mod installers and all that. I do recommend that you do like this we are on currently at version b26 for alpha 21 so we're going to go ahead and you can do main download and these are google drive downloads it is about 4.8 gigs zipped up so just to give you an idea so we're going to go ahead and open this up continue and then it will start downloading here in a second there we go so we'll be right back as soon as this is done downloading Okay, our files are done here. You can see in our downloads folder, we have df.v5.dev.b26. This is not a release version. We're still currently on the dev version, but it's fine. It is a release. You can use it. We're going to have one folder in here called mods. What we're going to want to do is we're just going to right click this, copy, close this window out. We're going to go back to where we installed seven days to die, the copy version of it. And we are just going to paste that in there. And we'll be right back as soon as this is done. All right, now that this is finished, we can see we have our mods folder in here. One last thing I recommend we do is we are going to click on our seven days to die folder right here. We're going to go create shortcut. And let's just go ahead and cut that shortcut. And let's, whoops, add it to our desktop. There we are. And let's go ahead and rename this seven days to die. Darkness. Balls. There we are. Now let's go ahead and load it up and see what it looks like. All right, it looks like everything's loading up good. And there we are. Seven days to die. Darkness falls. So I do want to recommend once again that you create that new file just like we did in the beginning and that you uh, go ahead and make sure you have a copy of everything in there. So all right, guys, I hope you enjoy this. In the next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up a dedicated server for Darkness Falls using Steam Command, which is what you want to do if you're using a uh, another PC or something in your house that you would have. That way you can set up a dedicated server because like hosting a game through on here is not the best. So all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you back here next time.